All right, so before we start seeing how to incorporate Firebase Auth into a React app and you know how it lets us actually add user authentication to an app, let's talk a little bit about what Firebase is in the first place. So think about Firebase as kind of a user-friendly wrapper around Google Cloud Platform. If any of you have ever used GCP or Amazon Web Services or Azure or one of those other providers before, Chances are you've found that it's actually quite difficult to set up an application and make sure that it's performant and ready to serve thousands, if not millions of users, right? That, that's why those kind of certifications exist, because there's a lot you have to learn in order to make a lot of that stuff work. So what Firebase is, is essentially a wrapper around GCP, as I said, that takes care of a lot of that for you. Right, and it has a lot of different products that are available. It's got Firebase Auth, which is what we're gonna be taking a look at here today. And it's also got other things like database providers, which is uh, called Firestore. It's got a storage solution, which is called Cloud Storage. There's a lot of other options for products that you can use on here. But right now we're just gonna be taking a look at Firebase Auth, which as you may have guessed, is Firebase's user authentication provider. So. Let's talk about some of the benefits of Firebase Auth. First of all, one of the main benefits of Firebase Auth is that it is free. And yes, this is probably just to get you hooked on Firebase Auth and start using some of the other paid products that Firebase provides, but hey, I'll take it, right? This is something you generally don't get from other Auth providers. Now, the one exception to this is, of course, if you're using... Uh, cell phone authentication, that kind of stuff, in which case it costs you money because you're actually sending texts to users' phones. But in general, right, for any kind of password-based authentication, for OAuth, etc., Firebase Auth is free regardless of how many users you have. Okay, so that's the first main benefit. The second main benefit is that Firebase Auth takes care of nearly all all the complexity behind implementing user authentication. So user authentication is obviously a very complex thing and you have to worry about uh, lots of security things, right? That really has a huge influence on how your company behaves, right? If you're starting a, if you're creating a startup, you have to worry about keeping all your data secure, et cetera. And those are things that you have to worry about anyway, but the fact that you can just kind of give Firebase your users passwords, emails, etc., and know that you have Google protecting all of that, right? You have a basically a team of people who spend all day every day making sure that those things are secure. That to me is a very comforting thought. So security is the second main benefit of Firebase Auth. It makes it so that you don't have to implement your own authentication, you don't have to store users' passwords, etc. And the third main benefit of Firebase Auth is that in general, it's incredibly easy to use. Now, what you're gonna see when we actually add this to a React project is that essentially, in order to log a user in in Firebase, all you have to do is call a single Firebase function, which will actually log them in, and it'll take care of keeping track of all of the tokens, storing all that stuff in your browser, et cetera, behind the scenes, without you even having to think about it. Literally, all you do is call uh, Firebase's login and logout functions to log a user in or out. Very straightforward, and I think you're gonna like it. So those are the main benefits of Firebase Auth. We're gonna see these all in action. So let's jump into seeing how this is gonna work uh, in a React project. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.